such stories as H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds and Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea have challenged mankind. So today, man is successfully probing deep into the mysteries of the universe. Can he penetrate the greatest mystery of all, time itself? creative magic of George Pell and the fabulous production know-how of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer to catapult you through time into a world that is yet to be. Why is it that we usually ignore the fourth dimension? You, you see, we can move in the other three. As the doctor said, up, down, forwards, backwards, sideways. But when it comes to time, we are prisoners. Inventor Rod Taylor's breakthrough into the realm of the fourth dimension is defied by his friend Alan Young. If that machine can do what you say it can, Destroy it, George, before it destroys you. Every moment is a year, hurtling through the atomic wars of the future on an incredible excursion into the unknown. What are the people like? Ah, <laughs> the shape of things to come. It's lovely Yvette Mimieux. And what happens when boy meets girl thousands of years hence? How do they wear their hair? Who? The women of your time. Up like that? Show me. Is this the human race of the future? Or is this the Morlocks, fiendish creatures who live in a weird underground world? And the Eloi, the tranquil sunshine people, who the Morlocks dominate and maintain like cattle, luring them below with the hypnotic wail of the sirens to feed upon them in cannibalistic horror. <laughs> <laughs> 